This is the Sea Star telescope that we got in for testing. It's just a little box and then it's got a tripod that you attach to the bottom. That's how it looks set up. And then you open the app. Powering on, ready to connect. It tells you that it's powered on and ready to connect. So you go to your app and you find your Sea Star. You hit connect and you can open the arm in the app. The arm will open. Then you control the arm with the app. You go in. There is a joystick option that allows you to move the arm up and down. And also an autofocus. Autofocusing. And like I showed last night, and I'll show here shortly in a bit in the app, you can find specific stars, constellations. It'll help you find them. It'll auto move and focus on them. It's really hard to see, but it is now finding the target that I asked it to find. And it's moving itself to the target. That's pretty neat if it actually finds it. We'll see. Object is centered. It gives you a pretty good picture. Um, of those constellation stars, stargazing, anything you're trying to do on the phone. I will say I am not a huge lover of the app. It's not what I expected as a teaching tool to use for a fourth grader. But this is what we got, so this is what we're gonna use. And he seems to like it, I like it. Even though it does use an app, it is useful. Would I buy it? Yeah, I would if I had an actual use for it. Stargazers will like it, people like that. This has absolutely nothing to do with home assistant or smart home related. It's just yet another product they sent to us. Once you're done with your stargazing experience in the app, there is a close arm button to shut everything down, close it up so you can repackage it in the nice little hardcover box that it came with. 